Welcome back. Let's continue the story. That's cute how they use uh, transportation to move from one section of the game to another. All right, let's find these puzzle pieces. Uh, hmm, I can't really do anything with this yet. Okay. I can't do anything with this yet. Huh. Okay. I like these, um, click and explore games. And I like puzzle games because, um, I like to keep my mind active. You know, the brain is a muscle just like all your other muscles. You don't use it, you lose it. So I like to play different types of games to um, keep my, you know, my mind active, push my limits. But I can imagine how it must be watching this, uh, you know, as a playthrough because um, it's very similar to like th those games where you spot the difference in the pictures you're looking for something in an image in this case this game and like these hidden puzzle pieces I can imagine some people seeing things that I miss and they're like oh it's right there you know kind of thing <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'll come back to you. I want to find puzzle pieces. So, I do wonder what happens if... Well, I guess you can't move forward if you don't find all the pieces. And that's my favorite part of the game, actually, is the puzzle. When you solve all the other puzzles. So. Found out that... Uh, Tryon Worlds, the people behind Rift, is making a game called End of Nations, which is going to be an MMO RTS, a multiplayer online, real-time strategy game, with a single-player campaign and a multiplayer portion up to uh, 50 players. I think it's... Uh, one versus one up to 26 versus 26. I will probably end up getting that game because I like... Ooh, I have to find little faucet thingies. Okay. Um, I will probably end up getting that game because as I said, I like finding the... Um, or using my brain and, and finding games that will push my limits a bit. So, I will most likely get that. But I have to say, as a gaming company, Tryon is, is, is kicking ass. Rift is, you know, didn't fall on its face like everybody thought that it would because it was a WoW clone. Um, there's a lot of debate going on right now in the WoW community because they announced some nerfs and, you know, people are complaining. <laughs> They said that they were going to nerf all of the normal, you know, some of the normal dungeons. Um, I'm going to probably do a separate video on it, simply because uh, my take on it is a little bit different. If a high-profile person quits the game, what does that have to do with me and how I play the game? I don't give a shit. I, I, I don't care. <laughs> what does that have to... Their opinions have nothing to do with how I play the game. And because I'm an independent thinker, I'm not going to do what they do. And I'm not going to be upset because they quit. Because, I mean, seriously, you should not pay money for something that you don't like. 
you're not having fun, you're not enjoying yourself, then why do it? So, yeah, I, I'm not understanding why there's so much hoop hollow over this. If you don't like the game, you're not enjoying the game, unsubscribe. That's your voice, where you put your money, you know? Hmm. Yeah, I'll come back to that. <laughs> oh. Ooh, there's a puzzle piece. So many people are upset because Total Biscuit quit. I said quite some time ago he needed to quit. He's been unhappy with the game for a long time. Why stay? You know? Why stay? Actually, on the front page of my channel, there was someone uh, saying that uh, he should just hire more people to do Azeroth daily. And it's like, okay, you're forgetting one key. Oh. I have to put this together. And there's the schematic over there, so that's not too bad. Okay. Um, you have to... Now, what was I saying? Oh, I, on the, the, the front page of my channel, they were like, he could just hire more people to do Azeroth daily. And I was saying, you're forgetting one key issue. He can have people accumulate the gameplay and, and create the, you know, the, the, the gameplay, the new stories and everything. But at the end of the day, he has to commentate that. It's not like everybody's putting it together and it can just go up without him having to do anything. He has to commentate that. And if you're unsatisfied with the game, then are you really going to want to commentate? Are you really going to want to report that news on a daily basis? This was an obvious, obvious decision that he was going to have to quit. And I said it weeks ago. I mean, I, I don't even see why he lasted this long, honestly. Well, actually, I do. That's not true. I think he had a fear that if he un if he stopped doing Azeroth daily because a lot of people said this, he'd lose his audience. And one of the things that I said in a previous video is um, the reason why, like if you were to take the Yogg's cast versus him, the Yogg's cast started to be, I mean, was very small. Well, not very small. It was reasonable size, but it was very small compared to his, you know, following <clears throat> which let us be clear he's got a nice size following but it's not massive it's not huge it's not I mean when you think of the number of people subscribed it's a decent amount but it's nothing compared to a lot of people that are on there I mean it's particularly in the gaming community in the U on the US side it's pretty decent for the UK but I mean come on that's like having 300 and thousand subscribers to a site which is nothing when it comes to like advertising you want a million up so <clears throat> and I'm, I'm not saying that as a disrespect I'm saying this you know to put it in focus here so he has these subscribers but his his growth slowed down dramatically because he was so displeased with uh, World of Warcraft, he was focusing a lot on StarCraft 2, which is another game that Blizzard does, which is fine. But <clears throat> whereas the Yacht cast was very focused, it wasn't that they were doing Minecraft and, you know, Minecraft pu pushed them over. No, as you can see now, they're doing other stuff. And yeah, they get the more Minecraft stuff, but they took the opportunity and they ended up and now they've got even a second channel which is doing you know pretty good but they stayed focused on their kind of style and just you know worked with it and you know blended on whereas he if he had done the same thing and instead of focusing so much on Starcraft 2 at that time he focused more on his WTF series he could have faded black Azeroth daily you know quite some time ago which is what he's doing now and he's like yeah see I didn't lose anybody. No, you weren't going to lose 
you know, if you do it right, you can pivot. Whether it be, I mean, the truth of the matter is, is that he can't really talk about Minecraft channels because he had a WoW channel. What he, WoW did for him, Minecraft is doing for others. And there will be other games that, you know, launch people's channels. There's nothing wrong with that. But you have to keep in mind, they're businesses. He's a business. He has a business. Yogscast has a business. They're in this for a business. And you have to make business decisions, not emotional decisions, business decisions. And I need to focus on what the hell I'm doing here. Wait a minute. So busy. And I talk about this because, you know, I deal with businesses. I have a master's degree <clears throat> in business management. I purposely didn't get one in business administration because, quite frankly, God for God willing, I will never work for anybody else again. <laughs> so um, I majored in uh, business management and uh, specifically with growing online communities because I've owned quite a few. So, and that's what I want to do. I love interacting with people and not saying that this channel is going to be the business or anything like that. Right now I'm just having fun. For so many years I worked two jobs and had ultra responsibility and right now I'm in chill mode. And whoever has a problem with that you can kiss my black ass. I don't care. I am going to take some time for me and uh, I think everybody should do that. You know just kick back and you know relax and enjoy life. Uh, where does this sky go? That one little blue block? Okay, I'm reshuffling these. I need to get that. No, I went the wrong way. Yeah, there we go. Yay! There, that works. Um... There. Okay. Oh, I love me some puzzle games. I really do. I love my puzzle games. I love puzzle games. Now, one puzzle game that I didn't get very far in, missed. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to rebuy that game. Um, because I don't know where my other discs are. I'll, I'll get it off with GOG or something. Uh, good old games. I'll see if they have it. Uh, and see how well I do now. Versus before. Oh, it was a miserable, hilariously funny, not able to get off the first chapter kind of thing. It was it was bad. Okay. Um, as I shuffle these last pieces around, I will be right back. <laughs> 